You can set up the ability for administrators to log in as any user, and that's done via the login access policy screen inside of setup. And here you will find the enabled checkbox. So just be sure that that is checked and then click save. And then you'll be able to log in as other users and experience Salesforce as they would see it as far as what apps and tabs they see in fields. Helps with troubleshooting purposes as well. And there's one other uh, helpful tip I want to share that will make your life easier. If you have enabled logging in as another user, there's another setting that you can set so that when you log out as that user, you can return to your own user account without having to re-log back in. And so in order to set that up, you will want to go into session settings. And that's one of the check boxes on the session settings screen. The checkbox in question is called force re-login after login as user. User. Not the most eloquent title for a field, but what it does is if it's checked, then it'll force you as an administrator to have to re-log in after you've logged in as a different user once you try to switch back to your own account. So if you uncheck this and click save, then you can switch from logging in as a different user back into your own user account without having to re-log back in. So I wanted to show you that setting as well. And then to round this out, as with all things that you change in Salesforce, you always want to test them out to be sure they work correctly and as expected. So I want to log in as another user. And so you want to be sure that it's an active user account. I've got Julie Chavez here and you'll see a login link if you've enabled the ability to log in as other users in your org, such as I've done here. And so I'm going to log in as Julie. And then whenever you're logged in as a different user, you'll have this bar here showing that this is the user experience for Julie Chavez and not your own user account. And this way you can troubleshoot and see what this user would see and be able to navigate and troubleshoot from there. Now, once you're ready to log out as Julie Chavez, you would want to click here, log out as Julie Chavez, and not click on your avatar profile here and then selecting log out, but instead the link up top. And then this will switch us back into my own user account. Otherwise, if I hadn't have set that checkbox previously, then instead of remaining inside of Salesforce in my user account, it would have brought me to the login screen and I'd have to log in again. So if you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment below for what you'd like to learn in Salesforce, and I'll see you next time in the cloud.